In this video I'll give you advice on how to think about attacking when you have a set far away from the net, because this is a situation that every outside hitter gets into. Even though the setter always uh, tries to make an accurate set uh, close to the net, sometimes it just doesn't work and you have the ball 2 or 3 meters uh, high from the net. And that's a difficult situation, don't count on always being able to make a point. Sometimes you are going to have a double block or a triple block against you. And sometimes you are going to be hitting uh, these difficult balls without the block. And I want to prepare you for those uh, two situations in today's video. I'll give you advice and tips on how and where to attack uh, and I also tell you what to avoid, uh, what mistakes not to make, uh, where not to attack. But before I show you all the possibilities, I have to touch on the topic of the chance to score a point. Because you don't always have the same chance of getting point on an attack. I dare to say that if you have a high set with every meter from the net, your chances of scoring a point decrease significantly. I would say that every meter means a 25% reduction in that chance. When you look at it, you can see that close to the net, within a 1 meter of the net, you have the best chance of scoring a point. You can use most types of attacks, attacking on the fingertips, over the block, uh, on the edge blocker. You also have the most angles and places to hit. Once you have the ball a meter or two from the net, uh, you can't attack over the block, uh, for example. And your chances of scoring a direct point by attacking slowly decrease. When you are about 3 meters from the net and you have to hit a high set without the block, you are in a tough situation to get a point. And if you have to hit against a triple block, your chances are even lower. And imagine attacking a high set from 5 meters. You won't get a point here in the vast majority of cases. Your opponent won't jump on block. And you'll rarely surprise him with your attack. That's why I advise you, if you are attacking a difficult high set far from the net, don't think primarily about scoring a point. Rather focus on the opponent inaccurately defending the ball in the field after your attack or on the setter playing this ball, so that the opponent is forced to attack a high set after a defense and a high set against which you can build a compact block at the net and a defense in the field. But enough theory, let's get down to the practical demonstrations. First we are in the easier situation, we have a high set far from the net and we are not facing a block. The biggest mistake in this situation is hitting the net. You just can't do that. I also wouldn't advise you to attack uh, to the libero. The libero is the best uh, defensive player in the field and will defend your attack the best. And since the players on the block don't jump uh, on you, a tip isn't an option either, because they would uh, comfortably pick it up in the field. Therefore I advise you these uh, three options where and how to attack in these situations. The best option and the way you can attack with the most power is to hit the, to the long diagonal. With this attack, if it's powerful enough, uh, you can cause uh, problems for your opponent uh, when they don't defend your attack well and accurately, and they are forced to play a high set uh, to the outside hitter or opposite. The other option is to attack hard down the line, but not directly down the line. Hitting accurately down the line is uh, challenging and you can make mistakes. I'm talking about hitting about 2 to 3 meters uh, from the line. This attack will either hit the setter or the opposite, uh, which is good. Or the player in the zone 6 will have to react, make uh, quick movements and uh, this again can result in inaccurate defense and uh, subsequent high set uh, from the opponent. And the third way is to hit this difficult high ball technically to the setter if he is in zone 1. This will take the setter out of the game who is capable of uh, setting quick set to the outside hitter or middle blockers. And you will again have a better chance of uh, defending their attack after a high set. Only in this case be careful that the setter's defense doesn't go straight to the middle of the court to the outside hitter. And then we are in the situation where we are facing a double or triple block. You have the ball 3 meters from the net and your chances of scoring are very low. Again, don't attack the net under any circumstances. Also try to avoid attacking the libero. Additionally, I don't recommend trying to attack against the blocker's fingertips. That's extremely difficult from 3 meters from the net. Even attacking on the block of an edge player is a tricky. And you definitely don't want to test the block by attacking uh, to the middle of the block. You are just in a complicated situation. But even in this situation uh, you can attack a long hit to the diagonal, which shouldn't be blocked by the blocking players directly if you are being blocked uh, from the antenna. However, count on there being a defensive player standing in long diagonal ready to defend uh, your attack. And your attack, if it's uh, powerful enough, uh, can make him trouble. 
The other decent way to make trouble for your opponent is to play this ball to the setter when he is in the field. Whether you are playing a tip, a power tip or a technical hit. Again, you'll put him out of play and your opponent uh, will probably play a high set uh, where you'll have a decent chance of defending the ball. Or you can try to attack the ball on the block uh, with the aim of rebounding the ball to your side with a technical attack. But that's uh, probably the last option I advise you in this situation. So these are my tips and advice. And if you want to improve your technique and timing of hitting high sets, check out this video where I show you in more details how to hit high sets well. I see you in the next video. Bye.